Welcome back everyone. This is Thursday. This is going to be our last uh, good day. And so today I am uh, planning on taking some of this straw and going out to uh, the goats uh, little houses out there and putting fresh um, straw down for them before this cold front comes in. And then I'm going to clean out this barn on this side. Let me show you. This side here and get it ready for um, the birthing stalls. We're going to go ahead and do two birthing stalls just in case. And then I will lay straw here tonight and probably tomorrow night we'll, we'll have to watch the weather and maybe tomorrow night we will lock all of our does up in here just in case they have their babies while this cold front's here because if they have them out in the in the paddock um they're with the wind and the wind chill and how cold it's going to get there's no way they could survive as when they're wet and um so we're going to move all the does in here over the weekend while the temperature is uh, going to be extremely low. So we're gonna try to get that done today and I am going to go ahead and get this cedar done that I keep saying I'm going to, uh, in the last video I said I was gonna put it, but we didn't have time. Our church has been in revival and so we haven't been able to work at nights except for we did last night just to get this, just in case we got two of these up. So today, my plan is to get um, the straw in there, get this cedar done, and then I want to paint around this frame door. We're uh, painting it a dark, dark brown, close to black, uh, and treat this uh, wood here. So we're gonna do that. So stay tuned with us and see what I can get done today. Okay, let me load up a uh, straw bale that I can take out yonder to the um, those houses. Let's check on these girls while we're coming in here. All right. Zari and Dixie. Both of them is my lazy girls. Y'all doing okay? Here's the rest of them. They're interested in the straw bill I'm bringing in. Listen to this girl. Oh, are you getting up? Are you grunting? You're so big. Poor thing. You okay? Are you in pain? Little teeth grinding, I hear. Can y'all hear? And the yawning. That's one of the close signs. But she looks okay right now. So let's get these barns done. Looks like y'all's out of hay. They do have some waste, but that's over, it's probably been a month since we've cleaned it. So, not too bad. Let me get this bell open. Ready for the winter, okay? For this cold front coming in. 
some fresh hay, huh? Is that okay? Stay warm tonight. Okay, this is the boys' little hut. They look pretty good with straw, but I'm going to add some more. Okay, they didn't have to have as much, but got it in there. We don't have that many goats. We have seven does, and we only have these bucklings left. We did sell our boar buck. I mean, these are weathers, I'm sorry. We have these two weathers left that Ashlyn will show, but we wanted to Stay small until we were prepared and understanding of them. You know, we didn't want to get overwhelmed with a bunch of goats. And we are planning on keeping babies from these girls, the does from them, and uh, build a herd from within. So we'll have a closed herd. Uh, at this point, I don't want to bring any new ones in uh, just because of disease and uh, you just you just don't know. So we're going to have a closed herd and that's what we have had except for when we brought the dapple buck, in, uh, dapple buck in to breed these girls. And that's our plans is to keep as much of a closed herd as possible and raise ours from our own herd our does from our own herd and so when we do go back this fall to look for a another boa or this summer to look for a buck then um, we want to make sure that it is a clean herd um, you know that they're taken well care of and I know you can't guarantee that but uh, we're going to do our best to keep these as um, disease free as possible and not bring in something to our herd to hurt them or lose them and I know it's it's very common to lose um, your goats from time to time but I don't want to do it intentionally let me uh, put the straw that the remaining straw that I didn't use back up on here and then I want to get off of those girls they're out and get them some hay this morning one block extra a day uh, on top of their feet. So I do with this dolly because I'm not able to carry it that far with my back and having back surgery. So I use this dolly and a full dolly fills their feet. Okay, 
We got their feeder field. They seem to be enjoying it. Dixie did come up to eat. You boys playful? Look at them, they're playful this morning. Enjoy today. Today's the last warm day, guys. I went ahead and set up under the barn because it's so windy outside. But after I seal them, I am going to set them out there on the trailer to uh, to dry. So let's get this stirred. Let's get started here. Let me show you the difference once you put a sealer on it to when you don't put a sealer on it. See if the lighting is. There's the difference in it. It makes a huge difference, brings out all the cedar color. So let's set these outside to start drying. And then we'll start on some more. All right, I got them all done. They're on the trailer drying. Look how pretty they are. It just brings out all the wood grain and the coloring and cedar. These are the two by six frames for our uh, doors. And so I'm going to paint them. It's a dark, dark brown, almost black. So let's get them painted. We got them done. We are working in the dark. Lighting is horrible, but I went and got a tarp and we're going to um, put a panel here and tarp this north area and this north side here uh, just because it's supposed to come in raining and wind tonight and snow and I don't want it raining into the building um, to get the ground all wet. So, yeah, we're going to work in the dark for a few minutes. When you have meetings till dark and you get home after dark, then you work by a heat lamp and truck light. -like. We're going to put a cow panel right here in this door. And then we're going to put a tarp over that. In case I have to move these um, goats in here uh, before we get these doors done and they need to come in. Hello everyone, this is uh, Friday evening. So the cold front came in yesterday, but the wind has died this evening. So I wanted to check on these girls. Come here, come here baby. She is not acting too well. What's the matter? 
Uh, how you doing, girl? Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. See how she's walking? She's having trouble walking. Oh, no, sweetheart. She acts like her joints are sore. I don't think it's toxemia. But she looks fine. Oop. Uh-oh. And the other girls look okay. I don't know why she's doing this licking. She's doing an awful lot of licking. Why are you doing that, girl? To me, it looks like she is sunken in a little bit right in here. Let's see if I can feel her ligaments. I can't feel them. Not like I have been. I just don't feel them. But I can't go. My fingers don't touch. Anyway, so tonight we're going. Last night we didn't. Bruce had meetings and had to work. He didn't get home to dark. And we, uh, we went ahead and put the tarp up on the end because it was raining. And we had to do it by um, his truck lights. And so uh, we got that up. And, and then it did rain a little bit. And I didn't want rain uh, coming into the barn. I'm going to film us doing the other two uh, birthing stalls. But you're not going to... I'm. I may have to voice over all of that because he does have a heater, his propane heater going in here and it's pretty loud. So let me show you. So we've got this, um, and we do have one little light here, but he's got this heater. And you're not gonna be able to uh, hear us. But anyway, we've got this all cleaned out over here on this side. And so we'll get that done and I will come back and show you.